Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. I have to just see. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? <sighs> Time travel is such a mind fuck. Yeah, kind of. I don't think get well is quite apropos. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. 
I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on. I can now. tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I peel off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nug. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Climate change is That's cool way. to see that Samuel's not alone for once. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. 
My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. It's not like I don't own all the original apes, Bones. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. Feel like the sky? How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then you can see what's coming. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. <laughs> he sees things. Not people. <laughs> but I, I think he sees you, Max. He wishes he could. Mr. Madsen has all the surveillance in the world, but he's still blind. I think you have better yeah, vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different <laughs> lifetimes, of course. Sorry for the bad guys. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate Not just needed life. some more helpful more, spirits more like her friend Max. <laughs> I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. <laughs> Whoa. You really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody. Until they give him a reason not to. He did. Well, okay. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I thought you could help me. 